up guys it's Sam I know I haven't uploaded in a while and I'm so sorry <laughs> I haven't had the camera which is my grandma's which is why I haven't had it and I hate recording on my laptop so that's why I haven't recorded anything but in other news I'm so happy I'm getting to use the camera hopefully until Christmas because I hate bad quality videos and I hate not making videos for you guys and plus making videos is like fun and awesome and I love to do it so yeah today since it's my first time being back and making videos for a while or it's been a while since I've made a video, I wanted to do something positive. So I'm going to do this thing this person on Vine created and it's like something like the YouTube, YouTube challenge or something, I don't know. <laughs> but there are a few questions and I'm going to answer them and go into depth and all that. You get it. Okay, let's go. The first question is, what is YouTube to you? So, to me, YouTube is a safe place. Just a place that, me personally, I can go when I'm feeling down or I'm feeling angry and I need a place that I can calm down or just a positive place in general. I know that there's a lot of YouTube drama that happens all the time, <laughs> like all the time, but other than the drama that happens, it's like YouTube is a community in general, and YouTube is a great place to go, and that's the reason that I do YouTube, is because it's a great community. So, yeah. The next question is, is there a story you would like to share about how YouTube has helped you or how YouTube has positively affected you. Well, YouTube is amazing, okay? I've been watching YouTube for years now, so I've learned. I'm not really sure who the first YouTuber I started to watch was, like the very first one. I just know that there were a few certain people that I would watch and then it led to other people I would watch and then yada yada yada. <laughs> but I think the YouTubers that have impacted me the most are Chase Ross and Ty Turner which are in the trans community and they're great. Go look them up. They're amazing. If you don't know who they are then just look them up. You'll love them, okay? You'll, you'll love them. Um, Non-trans related people, there's Felix, PewDiePie, and there's Mark, Markiplier, and Sean, which is Jacksepticeye. I love them to death. I've been watching them for so long. <laughs> and they are just like, their channel in general, like, it's just a safe place, it's a funny place, it's a happy place that I can go personally and just watch their videos and smile and laugh. So, yeah. And the great thing is I can relate to them, at least in certain aspects. With Chase and Ty, they're, you know, trans, so I relate to them on that level and they talk about stuff and they're funny and then with the other guys that I mentioned they're just random and hilarious and they put me in a good mood so yeah the next question is who are some people on YouTube that are your inspirations make sure to explain my inspiration is Chase Ross definitely of course like I love the other people that I watch on YouTube but Chase Ross is definitely my number one inspiration ever because he is so amazing like I know that's such a broad way to explain how someone is but whew, my god he's like so brave and he's amazing and 
If you don't know who he is, please go look him up. He is funny and he's so nice and he <laughs> he like struggles with everyday things. Like he isn't just this YouTuber that wanted to get on YouTube to make money. Like he did it to expand his knowledge and help people learn with him and I think that's amazing. I look up to him and a lot of other people look up to him and if you don't know who he is, please go look him up. He's amazing. That's all I can say is that he's amazing. <laughs> the next question is, what is one thing that you would like to tell people that are going through something right now? Um, it isn't over. Life is just beginning and I know that some of you who might be watching this or might see this are probably older than me but trust me you haven't experienced life to its full extent yet you might be older or younger who knows but life is full of new things and if you give up then you can't learn and you can't experience and you can't further on your mind and you can't further on if you give up so you have to keep going like it might be hard to explain this but you just have to keep going <laughs> as broad as that is you really do because even though you're going through something and it might be the hardest thing you've gone through so far that's the thing so far you have to keep experiencing and you have to keep going through life to experience more and life isn't just going to be full of bad things even though the bad things stand out more because you know they're bad <laughs> but you just need to keep going because if you give up and you quit going and you just stop then you can't experience, you can't learn, and learning is amazing. Not like, yeah, like schoolwork, that's another note, but expanding your mind's horizons and the way that you think and the way that you learn and the way that you do things in life, you have to keep going to experience and learn more, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, everybody goes through things, you're not alone. Even though you may think you are, even though people may not understand you, the people that are closest to you might not understand you, but trust me to God, you are not alone. There are like 8 billion other people in this world, right? right? That's an accurate number. <laughs> there are like 7 point something 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 billion people in this world, okay? And there are 7 point billion trillion things you haven't done and that you can do if you can think it you can do it <laughs> as broad as that is as cliche as that is you have to look into the cliche and believe it because the cliches are everything like i'm telling you you just have to <laughs> i think those are all the questions and i'm not sure if this video is gonna be long or short but I'm glad to be back. I'm going to be making more videos. So keep on the lookout. And I got my hair cut today. I don't know if you could tell, but I got it cut. Anyway, I got my hair cut today. And I think it looks really good. I'm very happy with the way it came out. And I bought $10 gel, which is so thick. Like, I'm going to show you at the end of this video what it can do because it's so thick. Like, it's thick. <laughs> but like, I got it done by this chick named Melissa. And I think it came out really good. I like it. If you don't like it, then bye. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to be uploading more since I have the camera now. So yeah be on the lookout for that and i'll see you guys in the next video peace okay this is <laughs> this is what i can do with the hair gel i can like <laughs> it's probably all messed up like it's
so thick. <laughs> so, I have no idea what I look like. And can I give myself a mohawk? I don't know what this looks like. Stop, bro. I'm so... Hello, Carl. <laughs>